Good morning, trucking junkies. We're here. About 8.30. I slept in this morning. Uh, so let's get the uh, tarps off. Let's get it unloaded. All right, so uh, we've got a load. We're going to, they're going to deadhead me 206 miles to uh, Enos, Texas, which is up near Dallas. I'm picking up a Lowe's load. A Lowe's load. Thank you, truck. <clears throat> and that's going to Oswald, Oklahoma, somewhere in there. Oswald, Oswalo. Something. It's going to one of those. Uh, Alwaso, Oklahoma. Whatever. It's going to Oklahoma. Hey, today's video is brought to you by uh, Sausage, Egg, and Cheese Biscuit. Sausage, Egg, and Cheese Biscuit, when that's what you've got in your refrigerator, and literally anything else would do, but that's what you got. So, <laughs> so let's go. Oh, so I watched the race last night. Uh, it was F1 out of Portugal. And they've not raced on that uh, track before. They've been, they've got like four or five races this year that they're racing on tracks they don't, they don't normally race on. Uh, in order to get all, you know, at least 17 races in, they've had to do that because some tracks aren't allowing, you know, crowds or even to be open. Some of them. You know, like they didn't come to the U.S. this year, you know, because they're scared of us or whatnot. I don't know, whatever. But uh, it's a pretty good race. Of course, Hamilton won by 25 seconds, almost 26 seconds. That is ridiculous when somebody can win by that kind of margin. It's horrible. They're supposed to have new regulations next year. Uh, that was going to make the race in a lot closer, but now they postponed that till to 2022 because of all the COVID crap. I don't see the logic in that either. It just gives them another year to develop. But whatever. My guy Danny Rick, he came in uh, seventh or eighth. Might have been eighth. Uh, he was struggling yesterday. He had some. He had to make two pit stops and had some uh, flat spots on his tires where he'd had to lock up, slid. It's all right though. He's still in the points race. I haven't talked to mom today. Uh, I'm going to talk to her later. See how she's doing. Like I said, Dad never had any symptoms, so that was good. That's probably if they were going to be, be sick, that was the best situation. One sick, one not. I'd rather them not be sick, but whatever. Somebody said that uh, my uh, Teespring store link wasn't working. I'm going to have to research that. Uh, I put a comment on their uh, comment yesterday with a, with a link that worked. Uh, I'll change it on my, on my description so that it'll link straight to the page. I don't know why that other link's not working. I'll get that fixed sometime today. But go buy and pick up a Teespring shirt. I've got uh, a couple of different designs on there. I know I've been saying I was going to get some more on there. I just haven't done them yet. I've been tired, man. And my wife wants me to spend time with her when I'm at home. And I understand that. I want to spend time with her when I'm at home. So, it is what it is. You know what I mean? If you have not voted yet, go out and vote. I'm not going to tell you who to go vote for. Not going to do it. You 
go vote for whoever you want to vote for. Just understand that there are consequences to whoever you vote for. Because they all suck. Man, look at all them BMWs out there. Hmm. I'm going to go vote uh, either Friday or Saturday. Get that done because I'm not going to be home next Tuesday. This car has been playing with me for the last 20 miles. Speed up, slow down, speed up, slow down. They can't make their mind up what they want to do. But whatever. Let's get on down the road. Let's go. Man, it has dropped 11 degrees since I've left Houston. I was talking to Tony a little earlier, and he said that Oklahoma was one big sheet of ice this morning. Which is not cool. Said it came out of Kansas and hit, dipped down and hit Oklahoma. I'm sure it'll be uh, melted away by the time I get up there, but dang, too early in the year for that crap. Wait a minute. Too early in the fall for that crap. How's that? Mm. He said he's up in Denver. Snow on the ground. Ten degrees. I don't know how people live up there. It's ridiculous. Right now it's 47 degrees. That's too cold for me back down to Arkansas where it's warm. Stupid. We are here and we are going to go find our trailer. Remember what number it is. 19046. I had to guess it's probably this one. Ah, this one's sitting over here in the at the end when I pass through let's go over and find out this McElroy land over here They're all over the place. It's not that one. it's going to be this one down here. I'm going to chill on a bit. F19046. That'd be the one. All right, so we are done, and everybody behind me is in some kind of stinking hurry. Jesus. That place. It's a madhouse, man, I tell you. It's an absolute madhouse. So get this. So, according to the new rules while I was on duty doing that work my time should have renewed on my driving for the rest of my driving hours it did not and I wonder why so that forces me to take a break before I get 
the rest of my hours back. But I tell you what I'm going to do is I am going to wait until I get past Dallas to do that so that I'm not stuck in rush hour. Heck yeah. Wasn't too bad. I was there less than two hours. I was able to uh, move my stuff over right in front of my trailer and then go park my empty, which is always ideal. I got some looks about it, but I don't care. Slow up there, SUV. Yeah, I know. That's my trailer. God dang. It's a sharp turn. What the heck? But anyway, let's get on down the road, I guess. And we'll stop for a break later. All right, so I had to stop for a break because the system's jacked up and it didn't do what it was supposed to. They've reset my people net. <clears throat> and then tonight I'm going to uh, I'm going to completely log out and completely sign off and see if that fixes the issue. Uh, but it's going to be like nine o'clock before we get up to this Lowe's. <clears throat> uh, and that's where we're going to sit tonight, is at the Lowe's. And that way they can load me in the morning and do whatever they need to do and, and do it. You know what I mean? But, uh, got me a little something to eat. That was good. And we're going to get out of here in just a few minutes. <clears throat> we need a random fact today, don't we? Stay tuned. It's the random fact of the day. Today I'm gonna do a Halloween fact. Just one today. So, full moons are are uh, somewhat associated with Halloween, right? They're actually pretty rare. Uh, the last full moon on Halloween was 2001. Before that, it was 1974. Guess what this year is? We're going to have a full moon on a Halloween, and it's on Saturday. That's pretty awesome. And that's the random fact of the day. All right. That's a long day. It's uh, 9-11, and we've made it. We don't have to go anywhere until they unload me. Yay. We had a lot of miles, so we dropped off and picked up, and we still did 575 or 74 miles today. That's pretty good. It's a lot of miles. Which is okay, because that gets my miles per day up. So, no big deal. But guys, that's going to be it for today. I'm going to go back here and go to sleep. I'm tired. I'm not hungry. I'm not... Uh, I don't want to watch TV. I just want to go sleep. I'll edit this in the morning while they're unloading me. That's for dang sure. I'll see y'all tomorrow.